Hyola is situated in the southeast part of Kansas. We're kind of in the middle of everything. We are a town of 5,700 people, which may sound small to a lot of people, but in the state of Kansas, we're a rather large city. We're the largest city in the county of Allen. And we have a Take Charge Challenge with four other cities in southeast Kansas. The challenge started in January of this year and ends October 1st. You're required to have three community events. We're going to have a, a lot more than that. We're generally relying on the natural competition that exists among the cities in southeast Kansas. So Iola, Fort Scott, Pittsburgh, these are competitors in high school sports, so they're also competing um, for a big prize, which is $100,000. Today, we are at the Fight the Energy Hog Festival. And um, here he is. I love the hog. He was just so ugly that he's cute. He represents energy hogs in your home. You would probably let him in, but you don't know the damage he's going to do. And so, you know, we have those when we leave our computers on. So today we have recycling and we have exchanging light bulbs, incandescent bulbs for the new CFLs. We also are looking at uh, energy appliances. We're doing a workshop, which is going right now, uh, on how to help save energy in your home. Essentially, we are doing everything we can to show the citizens of Iola, number one, how they can save energy through energy efficiency. Um, number two, what they can do to help win the competition. We'll get you 18 volts. And if you find out something doesn't work and you need one of these other ones back, you just come see us, okay? So you're ready to go? We've got some groups with us today that are young. We've got the Girl Scouts, we've got 4-H involved, and these are kids that have been brought up with trying to save energy and to save the planet. So it's a natural fit for them that, yes, you're going to save money, and yes, you're going to save energy, but in a lot of ways, we're also saving the Earth's resources as well. My name is Katie Whitey. I'm 10 years old and going into fifth grade. It has lowered our energy bill down by at least $50. That's because I turn my TV off, I keep my radio off unless I'm listening to it. My light's usually on, but also it has CFL, so it's not wasting as much energy. So, one of the things that most people don't realize is that in their home, they have a hole the size of a basketball. When you add up all of the cracks and crevices and all the leaking areas in your home, um, it's about this big. If you take that cover plate off, you can actually feel when the wind is really blowing how much air is actually moving. Well, it's not uncommon to have 30, 40, 50 of them. Well, think about how much area that is that wind can get through. That could be a, a big energy hog. And so if people can learn to be more conservative, learn to switch light bulbs, learn to have a house audit, figure out what it is that their house is using too much utilities, then they themselves are in control and they can control that cost while also saving energy. Um, energy efficiency matters everywhere, not just in big cities. It, it matters in the heartland as well. We still are blessed with fresh air and we truly can um, just experience nature every day of our lives. And so I think we are aware of our environment. Um, but just like everybody, we need to be reminded and become more conscious of that in our everyday lives. And, and that's what we've done is uh, made our community just a little bit more aware. And um, I think they'll make them themselves a little bit better habits of being environmentally and energy conscious.